In comes the free kick. Over towards the back post. And Fulham take the lead. And Shani Aluko against his former side. He scored against Fulham last year. He's reversed that now. And he has fired in with power to give Fulham a lead just after a quarter of an hour in this match. Eldon Jakubovic has only been tested once from a cross-come shot. But Hull didn't deal with that one. A set-piece appears to have let them down again. The header back. And Aluko had time and space. It was a good header. Into the path of Aluko. And Fulham find themselves 1-0 in front. But that should certainly wake Hull up now. And what do Hull need to do then to really get themselves level and just kind of need to up the tempo, you would feel, pass the ball about like they are doing, but they're just lacking that cutting edge in the attacking third. Jakubovic holding on to the ball for a long time. It's a good little knockdown by Markovic, but again, good tackle comes in, this time from Johansson, and it's immediately swept away. But Diamande could have an invitation to get forward here, and he goes for a shot at goal. It's not too far away from Diamande, but... It may have clipped the net, it's the wrong side of it. And Adama Diamande going the closest so far for the Tigers as they look to regain a level footing. Plenty of power behind the shots. Look as though they are lining up with five at the back at times, Fulham. Maguire, that's a very good ball to El Abdullawi. And it may be turned behind here, it won't be, it's pinball inside the... Penalty area, Tigers will get another chance. Klukas, little block. And now it will be brought away by Fulham. It looked as though it was going to bounce out of play. And suddenly, with it not doing so, Fulham is sprinting up the other end here. Fired over by Chris Martin again, plenty of power. But that's ended up in the Hull City crowd here at Craven Cottage. Bettinelli. Under a little bit of pressure from Markovic, O'Doy with a good flick on, but Robertson is the man to find that one. And then the over-the-top ball into the path of Hernandez, takes it round Bettinelli, he's still going to get the chance, but it's hit the crossbar. It's handball anyway, signalled by Paul Tierney. Here is Hernandez again. And Bettinelli makes a good save, Diamande following up, but it's headed back into the clutches of Fulham's goalkeeper, Aluko. Kearney, lovely one too. Wide at the moment by Aluko. And Chris Martin trying to get the ball into the penalty area. He does this time, up it goes by O'Doy, saved by Jakubovic, and then it is fired over. Diamande, nice ball down the line for Robertson, Hull have started with real energy, now Klukas, first time attempt at the cross, Robertson, and it's 1-1, Evandro, his first goal for the Tigers, he flies in and he puts that ball in the back of the net, a superb finish, and the Tigers have managed to find a goal on away soil. Robertson allowed to play the ball in lovely height. And how about that for a diving header from Evandro to get it underneath Bettinelli. The angle was tight as well. The Fulham goalkeeper should possibly have done better there. But take nothing away from Evandro. Gone about his business quietly in the first half with real effect. And now he's got his first goal for the Tigers. The perfect start to the second half for Hull. But Fulham here now with the real work of trying to gain a firmer foothold of this FA Cup tie once again, because Hull certainly have it by the scruff of the neck at the moment with the score at 1-1, eight and a half minutes into the second half. Aluko, what a ball that is to Sessegnon. Fulham will tap it in. 2-1. They haven't started the second half brightly, but all of a sudden... They've caught the Tigers out and Fulham race away to make it 2-1. And Chris Martin has a goal to his name, he scored. 
for Derby against Hull. Was there any question marks about offside? Cessna Young's ball going forward. Was Chris Martin in front of the defensive line, though, when the pass was applied by the teenager? Fulham 2, Hull City 1. Well, Fulham may be winning this FA Cup tie by two goals to one. But the atmosphere is a little bit drained again here. They may find their volume and celebrations here because that's a lovely ball to Sesson Young. And his fine performance has been capped off with a goal to his name. And I think that might just put Fulham out of reach. An absolutely outstanding young talent and it was well worked again by Fulham. And Sesson Young with a calm finish underneath Jakubovic again. Lovely first time pass. And now Hull have got it all to do. Robertson. All the main attacking options on the pitch. And meant none of them against the championship outfit can seem to find a way through. Who spotted the run of Kearney? No one. This is a good chance for Tom Kearney. Steps away from one challenge and he'll tee up Johansson. That's it. 4-1. Fulham have well and truly put this FA Cup tie beyond any doubt. They will be in the hat for round five and Hull will be going out. It's another lower division scout in this FA Cup fourth round powerful finish that's all he needed to do just hit it hard and Jakupovic wouldn't have had much chance through traffic as well in front of Jakupovic so he would have seen that late well he took down Swansea at home hole but Fulham certainly provided a really stern test for Hull and they're still charging forward here Kearney what a save from Jakubovic, but what a goal it would have been. Diamande. Slips it through to Robertson. Is there going to be a chance here for Hull? There's going to be a penalty. Is Hernandez going to score this time? He isn't. He went for the corner and Bettinelli has got the better. Of Abel Hernandez. Another chance. And Bettinelli saved one penalty. It's quite a low power shot from Hernandez. Is he going to go for a lot more here? This to make it 4 2. And saved again by Bettinelli. It's absolutely outstanding from the Fulham goalkeeper. And it just goes to show, really but the Tigers simply can't get much luck in this second half. Robertson. Hull still getting forward, fair play. This will drop to Tymon. Of course, scored against Swansea. And he nearly had another. Good shot by him. And Bettinelli makes a decent save. Hull beginning to churn out full chances. And sadly, it's come at the wrong time. The 90 minutes are up here at Craven Cottage.